Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. For today's video, we are continuing Better Call Saul with episode 7, Bingo. I think that is, it has to refer to like how Jimmy is trying to get into elder law. And I think that it's it's in reference to like the older generation loves bingo. So I think that this is gonna go back to Jimmy and him trying to practice elder law. But yeah, we're just gonna con continue on with the main storyline. We're gonna see how it goes. If you guys are interested in watching my full length reaction, be sure to check out my Patreon. I'll be linking that down below in the description. Without further ado, let's get into Better Call Saul episode seven, bingo. Oh, I hate that buzzing from the light. Oh, it's so depressing. You've been through a lot last episode, huh, buddy? I do all the talking. He just wants you to spill more coffee on him. It's fine. Hand it over. Hand, Hand it over. Yep. I've got it right here. Is this it? Mystery solved. Why didn't you just drop it somewhere in there? 45 minutes ago, I get a call from Mr. Airman Trout. He's getting threatening voicemails from you, accusing him of petty theft and walking across the parking lot just now, boom, there's a notepad. I can only surmise you accidentally dropped it. Very clever. Wait till I get you back to Philadelphia. I'm he confused. Won't. The state of Pennsylvania can extradite people for returning lost property. That is one bold legislature. It really is. Wow, Philly. Anything you want to say to me about what you found in here? Now that it's all out in the open, maybe your daughter-in-law, maybe she's got something to tell me. Maybe not. Hopefully whatever you are, didn't rub off on the rest of your family. I want to know why their relationship is so strained right now. Thanks. Let's get the hell out of here. You can go now. <gasps> oh, okay. <sighs> Sorry about the kid. He's young, looking to make his mark. I like him. Because he's a Your spunk? daughter-in-law, what, what's she going to tell us? I don't honestly know. Well, Mike, if she's got nothing to say, this pretty well ends it here. You should talk to her before we do. If I were to guess, I'd say she wouldn't tell you much. I really like this shot a lot. Either way, that's up to her. So he's kind of hinting that there is... Yeah, I feel like he's hinting that there is stuff that she can tell him. A lot of people we both know and think that Fensky got what was coming to him. Hoffman, too. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a few more early retirements. Might be really? a good thing. New blood. I like the kid. He's all right. He's just got to learn, that's all. Is Some it? rocks you don't turn over. I feel like that's foreshadowing. I feel like something's going to happen. I really liked that dialogue between them. It gave very heavy Breaking Bad themes. It was really intense, but equally subtle. So I want to know why they have such a bad relationship and why would she call them? What'd you say to him? What I said is none of your concern. Mar Mike is so difficult. Double murder for which you are clearly the prime suspect. I know you're trying to help me, but you can't go. No, I'm trying to help me. Those two Philly cheesesteaks, <laughs> they want to lock me up right alongside you. Those two chili feet cheese. Those two Philly cheesesteaks. I love that. What, you, you think you're going to defend yourself? It's in someone else's hands. What, like God? No. Send me your bill. Oh, I'm sending you my bill. Oh, rough. He got up middle of the night for him. He really, Jimmy has dedication to his clients. He really wants to make things work. He's really putting the effort in. It's me, your friendly neighborhood ice man. Chuck, you there? Chuck, you up there? I'm out here. Garage? How big is this house? 113. Holy shit, 114. what are you doing? 115. He's working on himself. I'm so proud of him. Good for him. You got this, Chuck. Go inside. I'm so proud of him. Uh, it's an experiment, really. I've been attempting to build up a tolerance for electromagnetic fields. There is a 60 kilovolt transformer 200 meters south-southwest of my front yard. That's very specific. I've been trying to get acclimated to it. I got up to two minutes today. I'm trying to get up to five minutes by next week. Really nice. That's great. After what happened with the police, I almost lost everything, Jimmy. I have to get back to work. I am so proud of you. Oh, he does want him to go back to work. He's just in disbelief. God, I... I'll be right back. I gotta get a few more things out of the car. One thing I love about Jimmy is that he really <sighs> does have passion <laughs> for his clients and for those he cares about. He puts in the effort. It's just some case files. I'm out of room at the office. I don't want to leave them in the car. Just be for a little while, okay? I'm practically sleeping on these things back at my place. <clears throat> so, uh, we good here? See you tomorrow, same time. 
Is he going to get to work on these files? Sensitive information. Oh, here we go. Oh, who's the, who's the first person? It was a trick. Scott said he'd leave the keys to 801, the suite that's for lease. Here you go. Just bring them back when you're done. Got it. Could you afford this? Oh, yeah. <gasps> that is massive. Wow. How can you afford that? Your apartment has an exit sign out front. Big. A lot of offices. Oh, I thought this yeah, was an apartment. I like the openness. Got a decent sized conference room, not as big as Hamlin's. Could be cozier, though. Maybe you could embroider some little cushions. Gotta look successful to be successful, am I right? Definitely looks like success. <laughs> Get you a big fancy desk in here. Coco Bolo desk. I don't know what it means, but I just like saying the word. Coco Bolo. Coco Bolo? Ooh, ooh, that does, that does hit right. And uh, I want you to see this one. This is way better than the other one. Who goes in here? Because I'd be all you, up honey. in here if I were you. You. It's a corner office. You gotta go with the corner office. I'm not saving it for someone. Well, my partner. Your partner? Who's? Mm -hmm. Who would that be? Well, you said you were interested in elder law. Thank you. But, but you know I've got a lot invested at HHM. I'm closer than ever to partner. It's just a thought. You know, they put me through law school. I feel like I owe them. Actually, I do owe them. You gave them enough business, it's fine. It's a really I nice office. I want to see the kitchen. They have stainless in here. I think your chances of getting a favorable ruling from a jury are very slim. Mm-hmm. But we came to you people because we were told you in cases. We try to achieve the best possible outcome for our clients given each individual case. I think we've mm -hmm. managed to come up with a deal that is very favorable under the circumstances. A deal. I hate that terminology. A deal is what they got OJ. Well, Betsy, maybe we should, you know, a terrible term. It. Betsy is clearly the mastermind here. You're looking at 30 years in prison. And given the nature of the charge and the current political environment, I'd say we should expect it. After much discussion with the DA, we have arrived at an arrangement, which would include 16 months in a county facility. 16 months. Much better than 30 years. That's amazing. But he would have to say he was guilty. Oh my God, Betsy, shut up. It includes the stipulation that you return $1.6 million in misappropriated funds. Give back the money. But there is no money. There's no money. We told you. This deal is Craig's best chance of minimizing jail time. Drug dealers and murderers walk in the streets and they want to put an innocent man in jail. There's it's no other. It's not innocent. This is your best option. Murderers and rapists. She's just moving the goalpost. There is no money. On one hand, you give up the money. I Plead. I just told you there is no money. Plead guilty. If you go to trial, you'll most likely lose. And Craig goes to prison for decades. I think Betsy's selfish. I don't know if she would. We don't need to discuss it. You're fired. <gasps> Betsy sucks. I'm sure there's a solution. That won't be necessary. We will no longer be requiring your services. Yeah, it's not personal. Please stop following us. She's difficult. Oh, 70! Oh. oh, there's bingo. Let's go. Are you hosting bingo night? And the Work smarter, not harder. Look at him. Bingo! Oh, we have a winner. It's the lovely young lady in the back. Congratulations, you miss. You've won a... Um, neon bingo the sign? Lady? It's an adorable notebook. Do you like cats, miss? Uh, Irene, I love kitties. Oscar and so Felix. Cute. Felix can wash himself. Oscar won't. TMI. You can't, you can't put Oscar on blast like that. That's so messed up. Uh, I'm going to take a short break because somebody needs legal help. I love the neon bingo sign. This is a dedicated bingo hall, and that's so funny. One moment, please. Good to see you. Good to see you. But we would like to hire you as our attorney, Mr. McGill. We want no jail time. Zero. Craig is innocent, and we expect you to prove that. Last time we spoke, you were enthusiastic about being represented by HHM. We've parted ways. Poor Craig. He's like, I wanted that. I wanted the coffee. Disagreed with their defense strategy. They treated us like we were guilty. We just believe that you're the lawyer for, for us. us. Yes. Since we last spoke, I've changed my area of specialization. I concentrate on elder law now. But we've already paid you a retainer. A retainer. She got That is there. what you called it. That was your specific terminology. Could you excuse me for a moment? Hey. Hey there. <laughs> not you, not you, big guy. <laughs> I found something that belongs to you. Yeah, what? Picture the 25th hour starring Ned and Maude Flanders. It's the Kettleman's? Mr. and Mrs. Cuckoo Bananas just offered me the plum job of defending them. 
what did they tell you? That you treated them like they were guilty. I know this is a lot to ask, but you have to convince them to come back to HHM. What's it worth to you? Jimmy, I'm serious. They left because they think they can win this case, but they can't. Make them understand it's better for them if they come back. Tell me about this deal. Elder Law? I don't know what that is. Yeah. Maybe if we were older. Sorry. Maybe if we were older. I am very sorry, but I'm afraid I can't take your case. I highly encourage you to go back to HHM. We don't want a deal. We want you, our lawyer, to exonerate Craig. You need to be realistic. That is a big word, particularly in your case. Th there will be no deal. Well, then he's going to jail. There is no he's money we prison. wish to make a deal. Not even jail, prison. Because we know, without question, there is money. You made many excuses justifying your possession of said money. It's there. Please, for my own sanity. She is so you difficult. can't hide a big bag of cash forever. Go back to HHM, apologize to Ms. Wexler, and for Christ's sakes, take the deal. If there were any money... Lady, I, enough! If, stop! There would have to be a full accounting of it. Every penny would have to be present. You understand? Including the money that he took. All of it. We are in this together, Mr. McGill. And that's why you never take a bribe. I love how the difference in how they both even walk and like present themselves. Just completely different in stature. Kettleman, that's all of it. Where's Kim? We moved over to the East Wing. That's the cornfield. Never heard it called that before. Well, that's what you call it. You're gonna punish her just because you lost those two batshit Kettlemans? I'm not gonna discuss my employee policies with you. <laughs> employee policies? You're punishing her. I'm gonna need some help here. You sure are. Damn, he's a jerk. I cannot imagine how heavy that is. He's gonna have to sift through all of that. And there she is again! Oh my god, I love this. Best case scenario is my two-year plan just became a ten-year plan. Not your fault. They're not really playing with a full deck, those Kettlemans. You had to take their case? I'm sorry, okay? I tried. Of course you tried. They'll do what they want to do. I doubt you'd be able to do more for them than we were offering. You think very highly of my skills, obviously. It's <laughs> not that, Jimmy. It's a loser case. Kettleman did a terrible job covering his tracks. They've got reams of checks he wrote for false expenses. And I can't even challenge their admission into evidence because he wrote them to himself. Is Craig okay? I know we're never supposed to say our clients are guilty, but hey, not my client anymore. He's guilty as sin. There has to be a way. Not without the money. It's the only chip those Kettlemans have, and they refuse to play it. I feel like we're gonna really see Jimmy's expertise here. I think that he's gonna somehow get the Kettlemans happy, get himself out of the situation he's in. They're gonna kind of like win or not be as guilty. They also deserve what's coming to them. They deserve to be guilty because first of all, Betsy sucks. Like she sucks so hard. And she just like finagles Craig to do whatever she wants. This is all what she wants. She just wants the money. She's so selfish. Embezzlement, oh no. What do you think? Oh, he didn't spend any of it. Oh no, he clearly did. They're sending the money back this way? Is he gonna drive it away from him? They think the kids took the money and were playing with it. That's what they thought? So then they're gonna think that the kids were just playing with it and lost it so that he can... <sighs> He is not going to break into their house, is he? How did Jimmy get Mike to do this? This house is made of glass. How are they not going to see you? Hmm. Life bef before alarm systems, huh? <laughs> before they were, like, really popular. That's crazy. Wow. 
Where did they hide it? Is it under there? This was all Betsy. We know this was all friggin' Betsy. You s okay, so we stole it. All of it. Jesus. Thanks for not heading to the Bahamas with this. Very trustworthy. I love to see the beginning of their relationship. I don't know how he had like the the gall to hit up Mike and be like, help me with breaking and entering and stealing one point five million dollars in here. Don't ask, like. I know you look curious, but don't. He's what so curious. The right thing. Not you You know where you're going? To that with Jimmy. Uh, <clears throat> Am I correct in assuming we're now square? Square. Oh yeah, forget pain. Oh, because he's like, I'm not gonna bill you. Commit several crimes for me and then we'll be square. Even if it's for the right thing. Good morning. Oh, I love what you've done with the place. Do you have news about our case? But before we get to the nitty gritty, I think we should chat about your deal. There will be no deal. Circumstances have changed. Might I suggest that you go check on that money you insist you didn't take? <laughs> in the upstairs bathroom, under the sink? Yep. Oh, could you? Look, and look at how Betsy is running. That's all she cares about. She like pushed her husband out of the way. And Craig is like, huh? He's just worried about Betsy, not even the money. No, 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 no. What did you do with it? On its way to the DA's desk, right about now. What? You thief. Uh, <laughs> you cannot call him a thief. Good magician never reveals his secrets. We will have you arrested. Even on a good day, you and Logic are not but think about what you just said literally not around luckily you have a very talented lawyer who has found a way to minimize the damage you've brought upon yourselves oh you're fired oh i quit already i'm talking about kim wexler now you're gonna fall on her mercy and take that deal we'll tell about the bribe you took you could do that but all money absolutely there. could and i'd be in a mess of trouble a real pickle but so would you because right now only mr kettleman is on the hook for the whole embezzlement kerfluffle it was all me no, it wasn't. He's really willing to I'll make to sure take... everyone knows that. He's willing to take a bullet for Betsy. He really loves her. No, it's not over. Let's find another lawyer. Oh, Betsy. No, no. We don't have to put up with this. She's so difficult. I, I cannot not stand people like that. Betsy, we have to do this for the kids. I love how Craig is the one who's going to be in prison, but he's the sensible one. And she's just devastated that the money was taken. And she's the one crying. I think she actually does not want him to go to prison. She cares about his name. Say bye-bye to this dream, huh? Yet, did he? Law offices of James M. McGill, how may I direct your call? He's really professional. I feel really bad for him. Oh, I feel so bad. That was upsetting. So the last scene in this episode really upset me because I feel like Saul almost regrets that he did the wrong th the be the right thing. He grew up basically going to jail, doing all of these these scams, doing the wrong thing, and things always tend to work out for him when he does the wrong thing. So in turn, when he does the right thing, it feels like things are going wrong for him. I don't know if he, he did he pay for it? Because they said they left the keys for him return at the end of the day, so I think he's just seeing it, he didn't buy it. But it was like he just kind of almost had his dream and then it just got ripped away from him. But I think that this episode definitely showed showed how much of a good heart he has and i just like that this is the first episode that mike did a job for him he was like i'm not gonna bill you but can you like break into these people's homes and like steal their money so i can give them back trina hey jimmy got a package dan How's it going? What's up? So he did work at Hamlin and Hamlin because of Chuck, I'm assuming. Chuck helped found this and gave him a job. That's the vibe I'm getting. Oh, my lips are so 
much left. Jimmy, I'm really slammed. Just tell me what you need. We've been friends for a long time. I can't open it. Look at this dramatic lighting. So what does it say? <laughs> and sustainability. So they used to be together. Act. You got a second? The, I'm not really. I'm. But just take of, two seconds. I promise. All right. What's this? Is this a joke? He got into law school. That's what it is. You passed the bar? Oh, he passed yeah. the bar. I did. The University of American Samoa. Oh, correspondence school. Well, I wasn't going to quit work, right? Mm. Day, nights, <laughs> weekends. And... He worked so hard to do it. I'm so proud of him. And you kept it a secret yeah, all Yeah, he time. didn't know. You didn't Why? tell Chuck? You didn't come to me for help? He didn't want his help. Jesus, Chuck, you're the busiest guy I know. Chuck always helped him. He's not trying to bother you. Wow. Oh, he must be so proud of him. Now, are you proud of me? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. Um, once I get sworn in and everything, consider hiring me. As what? That's not oh, a good uh, idea. A, a lawyer. Well, uh, that's the question I'm going to have to take up with Howard and the other partners. He's hesitant. Look what you've done here. <laughs> You just remember us when you're all big time. Huh? I don't remember you now, Bert. <laughs> what are you folks up to? Having a party? Just a little celebration. I heard. Congratulations, oh, my friend. Thank you. Really, really what impressive, is he Jimmy. Say? We're all proud of you. Oh, we're not going to hire you? Hey, I hate to interrupt, but could you guys give Jimmy and me a moment? Yeah, we're not going to hire him. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it is. And you're eating his cake. That's a big spit in the face. Oh. If you're going to deny him a job, at least don't eat his party cake. And don't do it at his party. Like a, a wrench in the gears for Jimmy. Look at how Jimmy's completely, he's, he went from relaxed to all tense and shocked. Uh, let's reassess in six months. He's still close. Wow. It's like he's almost always had it out for Jimmy. I would be so proud How's of him. How's it going? Uh, settling back in. So apparently they are ready for us. I wanted to get a couple things done before lunch, and I'm still trying to Come study. on, Kim. You kicked her out because she lost clients and only brought her back because the clients said clients came back. We reached a plea agreement for former treasurer Craig Kettleman. Mr. Kettleman deeply regrets. Yeah, he hates him. Like, a lot. Can I help you? Look at the room. Yeah, I'm here to see the Mrs. Landry. Face. I noticed that the show are has a very... A lawyer. Uh, you, you know where to find her? Yeah. I noticed that this show has very intense lighting. It's completely different than how Breaking Bad was. Jimmy McGill, pick a card, any card. All right. Ooh. Good. Whoa. Ooh. Well, certainly is silly, and I did a surprise from the card fairy. Would you like another Hydrox? I'm all Hydroxed out. <laughs> how old is that? Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't that the old name for Oreos? No, it's a different cookie they don't make anymore. Is it? I remember hearing about what it before. Very and that comes to. $140. I always feel bad looking at like old, older individuals giving money. Like, uh, well, I wouldn't feel right taking money from an elderly person. I would just give everything away for free. I really don't know if I have enough in my account. Honey. I am so sorry. This, this is awful, but all I have is $43. Now, I could ask for an advance. I, I, I am just so sorry. It's fine. You could keep the will until I get my allowance. Hey, that's not necessary. Here's my address. We'll just make it an even 120. You have a nice day. I would not be able to do it. I, I wouldn't be able to take money from old people. I, I, like, I'd be like, you deserve it. Like, you, you gotta, ah, I just want them to be taken care Excuse of. Excuse me, allowance? Your family? It's my money. I just get it from Sandpiper Crossing. You should have social security checks plus mm -hmm. that pension we talked about. So how are you on an allowance? Well, the checks go to Sandpiper. And then they take out my fees and, and my expenses. Tell me he helps her. Because it sounds like she's being scammed. They take out what they need, and then I get my allowance. It's really all very above board. A lot of places do it this way. We'll see about that. Mrs. Landry, are any of your friends around who I could talk to? <gasps> see, you uh -oh. have reading glasses. Can I borrow your glasses? Four, ten, twelve. I think it might be Q-tips. I can't tell. It's probably an accident, but we should look into it, don't you think? They were stealing money from the elderly. That is, you need a. Oh my God! If you're stealing money from old people, that you have a. There's a special place in hell. 
where you belong. Oh my God. My boxes, the ones I left. I, I'm ah. speechless if people do that. I, I just, like anyone who, what is up with your moral compass if you have the ability or can even think of doing something so horrible? That's one of the things that gets under my skin so bad. Would you look at that? Thank you. Don't think I don't see what you were doing here. You wanted to play Tom Sawyer. Wanted me to paint the fence. God help me, did. it worked. You're not even listening to me. No, I, I hear you, Chuck. He's onto something much bigger. Would you look at this? Right here. Do you see what I see? Sandpiper Crossing. A retirement home, assisted living. It's, this is one of their monthly invoices they send their residents. 118-62, what's 118-62? I wonder. How could you even read this? They did it on purpose because they're elderly. They won't be able to read it. 118-62 is facial tissue. 14 bucks for a box of Kleenex. It's a clear pattern of overcharging. Yep. And there's a pretty solid attempt at concealment of that fact, which to my way of thinking makes it dry. I dug around a little. They're owned by some kind of real estate investment trust. I mean, this could be a big case, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what do I do now? I mean, what next? Well, you're gonna need more information. You don't want to go off half cocked. Full cock. I'm gonna head back there. Thank you. You're the He's best. He's not welcome back. They'd be like, mm, you're not. You've been banned. Back to see Mrs. Landry. New policy. We are obligated to protect our residents from being harassed, and we have the right to refuse entry. Well, they have a legal right to meet with me. You'll just have to arrange to meet them elsewhere. Oh, come on, guys. I, I'm backing away. Yeah? This is... Hey, this has got me a little bit stirred up down there. Can I use your restroom? Go ahead. Hey, it's from James M. McGill. This is to inform you. Leave that breach of contract. Oh, now, these abuses are negligent infliction of emotional distress. Sir, I really distress. need you to finish up and come out now. Contact by the end. This is a demand letter informing Sandpiper Crossing of pending litigation for defrauding my clients through systematic overcharging. You're shredding in there. I'm not deaf. I can hear you. Stop right now. I'm telling you guys. And she's mad. Ah. I hope they get caught. I hope that it's he's not like wrong and it's just a hunch. Because this was a big gamble he just took. Am I calling it a bad time? No, not at all. There's been a lot going on. You know how it is. I was was hoping maybe you could do me a favor. Do you think you could watch Kaylee? Anything you need, I'll be there. At quarter to two? I'll see you then. She left for the night, and now he can go in. But all of his clients are going to be asleep by then. I love how much dedication he has to his clients. What, 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 what? I mean, it's it's garbage. What'd you expect? Ah. Oh, what's in ah. there? Ah. I imagine there's a lot of voodoo in there. Oh. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, no! Oh, and it's like wet in there. Oh, the garbage juice. Oh. It's not like we're close to being done. I mean, what are you on and on? And so I'm like, why are you... What is that? Is that... Okay, it's food. Okay, I thought it was like bags of poop. It's just food scraps. Oh my gosh, okay. James McGill. Rich Schweikert of Schweikert and Coakley. We're the law firm representing Sandpiper Crossing Assisted Living. How are you this evening? He's in a garbage can. I mean, he's in a dumpster. I'm sorry to call so late. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, it's fine. It's just that you're whispering. I'm at the opera. Oh, what opera? <laughs> Magic flute. Mozart. Lovely. We received something from you today. It's a demand letter. Oh, it was a little confusing because it was written on... Uh, well, I had to write it quickly. Shredding documents. It's neither shredding irregular dog. nor illegal. Every business in America does it. It's a bit hard to read. Next time I'd use double ply. Kind of condescending, huh? aren't you, huh? Mr. McGill, are you related to Charles McGill? Does it matter? He's my brother. The only reason that I made this phone call was out of respect for Charles. My partner suggested that the best response would be to send a Rule 11 letter and have you sanctioned, but I didn't want to jump to that immediately. You have no good faith basis to threaten any litigation. Sorry for interrupting your evening. Enjoy the magic flute. Blow my magic flute. Oh, he went in there, he didn't even get anything, huh? <laughs> Oh, no way. Recycling bin, of course. Jimmy, why didn't you just look there? Oh, God. 
Charles isn't doing anything. Put him to work. <laughs> okay, just just frame it like it's a puzzle to him. That's impossible. That's gonna be impossible to do. This... This is impossible! He barely got anywhere. Jimmy, what are you doing here? Show up like this. I just needed space to work. What is all this? Oh, let's explain what it. into my dining room. They wouldn't let me in, and I could see that they were shredding. I wrote them a demand letter. You stole their garbage. He no, did. It was in public. He did steal the garbage. You can't say it's private if a hobo can use it as a wigwam. <laughs> Animals and vigor. More or less, yeah. I just need to figure out what they're trying to cover up. Well, at least it's not cross-cut. I just need some space and some quiet, and I'll be out of your hair as soon as stop, I can. Stop, stop. It's okay, you can work here. I don't mind the company. I feel like this is a really great testament to show just how much he's willing to work to go through this. Jimmy is just built different. God's sweet sake. Oh, good, you're up. Oh, he got to work. <laughs> Jesus, Chuck, how long have I been asleep? He's good. Uh, thank you. This is a huge help. It's your smoking gun. Invoice for syringes? Yes, from? Morrissey Medical Supply, Lincoln, Nebraska. Meanwhile, we need to start pulling case law. It's a good opening salvo for us. Wait, us? He's invested. We're working together on this? That's up to you, Jimmy. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. Right. Let's get to work. Yay. Oh, two brothers working on a case together. Now, are they going to bring Kim in on this? Yeah, they are. Hey, gorgeous. Sweet talking right out of the gate. You want something. Will you look something up for me on Westlaw? All right, hit me. Anything on Sedema v. Emrex, Schlesinger v. Disney. It would help if I knew what you were looking for here. Anything, everything. Print it. Full cases. And any cases that cite to those cases. It's a lot Shepherd of eyes like the wolves at the door. Jimmy, that's going to be thousands of pages. Come on, you owe me one. Yes, I do. And who do I bill it to? Bill it to Howard. I still remember his code. 1933, same year Hitler came to power. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, Kim can't print without a code. Should I go over there, take notes, and come back? Use mine, 1868. I like that he didn't even ask Chuck for his code. Does Chuck know you're using Chuck's number? We're working on something together. Wait, wait, you're working a case together? Yeah, but it's gonna be huge. Chuck's a partner at HHM. I know Chuck's partnership agreement chapter and verse. He can work with outside parties. That clause is intended for small time stuff. And Chuck can handle this? Last time I saw him, he was- Last time you saw him, he wasn't himself, okay? I just hope Kim doesn't snitch. I don't think she will. I think she has their best interesting- I'll see you in a couple hours. We're ordering a pizza, okay? I'll save you a slice. Sounds awesome. I just, I just hope that she doesn't tell Howard. I used to have that when I was a kid. Well, not have one. I would play with it. And you know, if you don't separate those, you're going to end up with Brown. Hello. Hey. I'm so happy. We're in here. She's Michelangelina. <laughs> How'd it go? Kid's a dream. She's easy. I better be going. Oh, wait. Hang on a sec. What's up? What are we talking about? Ooh, she's an artiste, too. Look at, look at the fridge. I want to know what I should do with this. Every place I put it feels wrong. Look, with Maddie gone, I have expenses, and the death benefit helped, but what I want to ask you is, can I spend this? If this money helps you and Kaylee, then you spend every penny. I couldn't get a fix for 100 miles. I had to have a tow to tell you right. It was unbelievable. Labor? <laughs> get wrecked. Get wrecked, dude. Oh, you are screwed. Chuck, the sandpiper has landed. Ooh. Gentlemen, I'm Jimmy McGill. Welcome. Rich Schreinker. Please leave electronics in the car, laptops. My brother Chuck has a certain sensitivity. It's a medical condition. Go ahead. It's fine. Come on, buddy. I don't, I don't know if I can do this. You, you can do this, all right? They're scared of you already, and they should be. You're Charles McGill. I feel weird when I call him Charles. Chuck just... It just seems so formal. Do you remember me, Charles? We were on a co-defense. Church's Donuts v. Amendola. Uh huh? Addiston, Pipe, and Steel. You turned it all antitrust, and the whole thing went away in summary judgment. Well, that's uh, good to see you. Yeah. 
All right, well, let's get started. Setting aside evidentiary concerns. Oh, your guys couldn't afford 10 bucks for a padlock? That's on them. Public property. But the damages for elder abuse? The statute requires proof that there was some undue influence. All their facilities, all 12 of them, every single one, five-star rated. You'll see happy, healthy residents. Sandpiper takes care of these people. They don't bilk them. And some of your clients have, in fact, been overbilled. We've calculated the damages. All told, it's $46,320. We're going to make your clients whole. A check for the 46 and change right now. We'll give you another 46 k to cover your expenses. So what's that, 92? dollars $100,000 even. I don't know if that's going to fly. I think you're going to need to do better than that. It's syringes, so? That's a pretty standard item in an assisted living facility. Correct, but it's not what it is that matters. It's where it's from. Lincoln, Nebraska. Nebraska actually turns out to be a different state than New Mexico. Are you trying to make this a RICO case? You know as well as I do, RICO's used mostly for business beefs. Sedema establishes a pretty low threshold for RICO provisions to kick in. As soon as we establish a pattern of overbilling, I prefer fraud. It is very fraudulent. 100 grand, I think you know where you can stick it. Will you give us a moment? All right, let's see. What number exactly did you have in mind? 20 million. Oh, you can't explain. 20 expect. million dollars, or we'll see you in court. Is Chuck trying to throw the whole case away? It's a hard bargain. <laughs> 20 million? Didn't you hear them? This is a big company. This is potentially a multi-state federal class action lawsuit with a RICO kicker at the penalty phase. I'll draft our complaint, try to get us a conditional one. They'll try to pierce it, but it should hold long enough to start discovery. And we need to get you back on the grounds. I'm a bit concerned. Did Chuck lose it? Like, I, I, I don't know if he seems to be no, he seems to know what he's doing, but something doesn't sit well with me and I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like Chuck might be reaching. Granted, I don't really know, but it's possible. You have doggy? I didn't know it looks you good. Me. Where'd you get her? Shelter. Mm -hmm. Anything else I can do for you? You still in touch with your people? Depends on the type of work you're looking for. Well, you tell me what you got. I'll tell you what I'll do. I hope that he still like fully adopted the dog and wasn't just using it to get to the vet. Because there's easier ways. You could just be like, hey, gotta make an appointment or do a meeting. I could sleep for a decade. I love that this also gives Chuck purpose. Like this is the most lively I've seen him in the whole show so far. Did you get what I asked? The oh. uh, code provisions. Uh, it's in the car. Just give me a minute. When? <laughs> when? I don't know what's not sitting right with me. Is he gonna go get it himself? <laughs> he's okay. He's training himself. He's he's doing better. He's okay. Chuck. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. It all hits now. He didn't even realize. He was so preoccupied with work and distracted. He remembered. <sighs> he was in a state of flow and it... He forgot everything. You can't end the episode right there. That's not fair. That's not fair. I feel like they're gonna have to get rid of, like, the case because he's they're gonna be... He's gonna be inoperational. Like, he's in op... Yeah, he's gonna be inoperational. He's not gonna be able to... Work on anything. So, I don't really know what to think, but something's not right with Chuck. Um, I mean, granted, we do know that he has that sensitivity to the electromagnetic sensitivity, right? It seems that when he was in a state of flow, he completely forgot about it. He wasn't conscious of it. Well, then show to him that it's psychosomatic and then he'd be able to hopefully get treatment. So I think he's going to bow out of this. They're already in deep, so they have to do this case, right? Or they can take the the deal that they originally had i think this was a catalyst for chuck to realize that he needs to get help because it is it is psychosomatic and of course it had to come to an end so i'm scared to see how the beginning's going to be i think he's going to be hospitalized and they're gonna have to bow out i think so we're gonna see how it goes thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone